What you know about rolling down in the deep When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze When these people talk too much, put that shit in slow motion, yeah I feel like an astronaut in the ocean, ayy What you know about rolling down in the deep When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze When these people talk too much, put that shit in slow motion, yeah I feel like an astronaut in the ocean She say that I'm cool, I'm like, yeah, that's true What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys through some of the quick, easy meals that I like to prepare since I've started this bulk. They're all super simple, guys. I promise you that I do not know what I am doing when it comes to the kitchen. As you guys saw earlier, I went ahead and put those frozen chicken breasts into the crock pot. That is by far the easiest way I've found to make just tons of chicken breasts without really having to do much. I literally just season them all up with some poultry seasoning, throw them in there with some Pam spray on the sides, put it on low or high depending on how long you're going to be gone for, and just go along with your day. It'll be ready to rock and roll when you are. I just ate breakfast. What you guys just saw was an egg white omelet with steak and cheese. It was absolutely insanely good. That right there is a solid way to get a lot of just quality protein in to start off your day, but I obviously did not make that, but making an omelet is not complicated. You can easily do that at the house. I can show you guys how to make omelets in a future video if you guys would like me to. Now with all of that being said, let's go shoot some archery. When a piece of this, a piece of mine, my piece of sign Can you please read between the lines? My rhymes inclined to break your spine They say that I'm so fine You could never match my grind Please do not not waste my time What you know about rolling down in the deep When your brain goes numb You can call that mental freeze When these people talk too much Put that shit in slow motion, yeah I feel like an astronaut in the ocean, ay What you know about rolling down in the deep When your brain goes numb You can call that mental freeze When these that was just a quick little grocery haul I needed to get a few things for today's meal I would highly recommend everything I picked out today they all taste amazing Time to go home and put some of these ingredients to use. All right guys, just got back to my apartment. It is now one o'clock. Chicken is looking nice. Put this in at 8.30, so it's been in for about four and a half hours or so. That's what I'm saying guys, the frozen chicken in the crock pot is by far the easiest way to make just a whole bunch of chicken in a few hours without having to worry about it. So in today's video, we're gonna make some chicken Alfredo. We're gonna be using these today noodles. That Alfredo sauce you saw that I bought from Walmart and the chicken breast that I've got over there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that together for you guys. So first you guys are gonna to wanna to grab a pot. I normally grab this one. This is the only big pot we've got. You're gonna fill this up with water and you're gonna go ahead and start boiling this. All right, so while that's heating up and getting to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and measure out the noodles and we're gonna get the chicken ready. So the noodles just finished boiling up. I'm now gonna drain them in this, I believe this is called a colander. It's either a colander, drainer, whatever you wanna call it. it. Doesn't really matter. I don't know how you're supposed to do this. I pretty much just sit it right there in the middle of my sink, then just pour the water, or pour the noodles in water right through it. If you guys know how it's actually supposed to be done, please let your boy know down in the comments below. If 
this is the final product. Gonna looks quite delicious to me. I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up for you guys and then give you guys a little taste test. All right guys, here is the final product. This meal comes out to 560 calories and 38 grams of protein. That is nice right there. This will be super easy to get down. The broccoli will help with digestion. Oh yeah, guys, you have got to try those frozen bags of broccoli. They're literally only a dollar and you get four servings of vegetables with that. It is insane. All you have to do is just throw it in the microwave and put it on about eight minutes and you are good to go. It's perfect. Anyways, time for a taste test. Here is the first bite. Oh my goodness, that is so freaking good. Like that was the easiest crap to make. You can make that in 25 minutes. It is perfect. Like I said earlier, this is all gonna digest super easily and you'll be ready to eat again in about two and a half to three and a half hours, it's gonna be perfect. Especially if you're trying to bulk. I'm gonna grub on this for a little bit. I'm gonna pick up the vlog later today. I'll probably take you guys to the gym with me. And who knows, we'll just see where the day takes us. All right guys, it's been a few hours since I last saw you. The time is now 6.05. I'm just sipping on a nice little pre-workout. I'm hitting a chest day today. Well, it's, it's a push day, so I'm hitting chest, shoulders, and triceps. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I saw in the comments that you guys were sort of like asking about what I do for my workouts. So basically what I do is when I'm coming off of a deload week, I try to do the minimum effective volume for each body part, which is like eight to 10 sets per each body part. So you do about, you start off doing only four to five sets per workout for like each body part. And then you slowly work yourself up from there. It like helps you progressively overload the most effectively. So now I'm like three to four weeks in from the last time I took a deload. So we're sort of getting back up there in a lot of sets. And then I'm gonna start raising the intensity. So like in the last video you saw I had on there like RIR like three or two or one or whatever. That stands for reps in reserve. So basically that's like, I mean, it's what exactly what it sounds like. It's how many reps you have left in the tank. So like if you go all the way to failure, that's reps in reserve zero. So if I have RIR one, that just means that I believe I could have gotten one more rep. Anyways, right now we're at reps in reserve three. So I still train really hard, but not like it gets, it gets a lot harder from here. So I'm going to go ahead and get changed and get ready to rock and roll.
right guys, so as I was editing this video, I realized that I did not film an outro, so here it is. I'm actually currently eating a big bowl of oatmeal with some frozen blueberries, some peanut butter, and some chocolate chips in there with a protein bar on the side. So that's like 700 easy calories right there. That's another super easy meal that you guys can all make easily. Anyways, if you guys made it to this point in the video, I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze when he's- Booga, booga!